hello everyone welcome back today's video i'll be showing you all how i made these little cute string lights these are lily of the valley flowers and i will be showing you guys how i make the flowers how i attach these little like clear iridescent beads to the tips of the petals and also how I crochet around the wire in case you guys are wanting to cover that up yourselves. I have another one that I made a long time ago and I didn't cover the wire so just so you guys can see what it looks like without the wires covered. And then this one is with the wires covered. So I will be showing you guys everything that I used and yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are. I have my rainbow cakes. Um, these are 80 grams over here. By the way, ignore any baby talk. And I actually bought three. I'm not sure. I think I might be able to get away with two, so we'll see. Here are my string lights, and the bulbs on these ones are actually pretty big. Next, I have my beads that I will be using, and these are kind of just like clear, a little bit of an iridescent shade to them, and I, there's actually a count of 50, which is perfect because that means I have just enough to make for 10 flowers, for the 10 LEDs that I have here. And then to attach the bead, I'm actually going to be using one of these like needle threaders. They come with like any sewing kit that you buy. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little closer, so hopefully you guys can see what I am doing a little better. First, we are going to start with a magic circle, make a chain so now into the magic circle go ahead and make six single crochets so now that we have six because my leds are pretty big like the actual um lights the light bulbs itself i'm going to leave this magic ring open like this so that way once i'm finished and i'm ready to attach my flowers that way i'll have an easier time doing that but if you guys have um if your guys's lights are smaller go ahead and you can go ahead and tighten it a little more now go ahead and slip stitch to your very first single crochet I am just going to flip it inside out already before it gets a little harder because I can't really close my magic circle yet. But anyways, to start row two, go ahead and chain one. And we are going to be making two single crochets in each stitch. So a total of six increases. Okay, so you should have a total of 12 single crochets now, and then once you're finished, go ahead and slip stitch to the very first single crochet from that row. Once you have slip stitch to start row three, go ahead and chain one again, and now we will go ahead and single crochet into the first stitch. So here we are, single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to make an increase, so make two single crochets. So one and two now you will repeat this pattern of single crocheting one and then making an increase so making two in the next six times Now go ahead and slip stitch to the very first single crochet from the row. Alright, so for rows four through seven, go ahead and chain one and single crochet in each stitch. Okay, by the way, this row we are supposed to be single crocheting a total of 18 single crochets just so you guys can keep a track of how many stitches to have. But go ahead and slip stitch to the very first single crochet and then go ahead and start the next row by chaining one again and single crocheting in each one until you reach row eight. Okay, just to show you, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so on row eight, go ahead and chain one and you're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then make a decrease in the next so 
I go through the front loops to make an invisible stitch and make your single crochet. So again, make a single crochet and then go through the front loops of the next two. Grab your yarn and pull through both and make your single crochet. So repeat that until you come to the very beginning. Okay, so now that I'm on my ninth row, go ahead and chain one. And in this same stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And then make a half double crochet. And then a double crochet. All in the same first stitch. And right here is where I'm going to add my first bead but if you guys aren't adding beads to your flowers on the edge of the petals don't worry about this part just skip this part and go ahead and skip on to the next portion of the petal so I'm on my last flower and I actually couldn't really get the beads to go through with the other little um, yarn threader so I actually got this like really thin piece of like wire and this is what I have been using to attach the actual beads so I have a needle that is thin enough to just barely go through the bead first I attach my wire through over here I grab my yarn and I kind of separate one strand out of the three and then I started I try to stay as close as I can to my stitch from before ignore the piper child in the back <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I try to stay as close as I can to the ditch. I kind of poke the um, thread through there and then I slide, I slide my needle and I pull it through and sometimes it's a little hard. So just like that. And then now I get my little bead and I attach my bead through the needle, bring it up and pull through and then just like that. So here it is and through this loop that I end up having, I put my hook through and then straighten out my yarn from over here. So once it's straightened out like this and I try to push my bead as close as I can to the work, I wrap over or yarn over and bring it through the first loop of the bead and through the stitch. And this extra yarn that's around the bead, I bring it and push it over here towards the outside, yarn over, and then continue the second half of the petal. And then afterwards, um, once I'm done, I just grab a smaller hook and then I poke my hook through like this grab the like extra poking yarn and then I bring it kind of to the back and then just let it go just so that the work looks a little neater in the front we're going to continue the rest in the next stitch go ahead and make a double crochet and next make a half double crochet and then finally a single crochet. So that completes like one petal for the flower. In the next stitch, go ahead and repeat that process of doing a single crochet, a half double crochet, and then a double crochet. And then on the next stitch, make a double crochet, and then a half double crochet, and then a single crochet. So like that. And go ahead and repeat this pattern all throughout until you reach the very beginning again and just go ahead and slip stitch to the first single crochet and cut and tie off and you're basically going to repeat these uh, flowers for how many ever lights that you have for your string lights once you're done with your flowers I'll go ahead and be right back so we can do the crocheting around the string of the lights and attach the flowers all right, so I have a couple of my flowers already on my string lights, but I'm going to go ahead and do the first two with you guys so that you guys can see how I attach them and then also crochet around the wire if, if that's what you guys are planning to do as well. On our magic circle, go ahead and I try to stretch it out or open it if you guys have like big LEDs like mine. And once it is stretched open like this, go ahead and take your LED and push it through that magic circle. So once 
it is pushed all the way through, go ahead and now you can tighten up the magic circle all the way. Here you have your crochet flower attached to your light. And if you don't want to crochet around the wire, just go ahead and sew in this end around the base of the flower and you are done. But this is the extra yarn that I had and I'm just going to be alternating between colors for my lights. All right, so to start everything off, I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot first and then we are going to single crochet around the wire that's literally all it's going to be so you want to make sure that you grab both the ties so the first loose strand from your slip knot of your yarn that you're going to be single crocheting around the wire with and then also the yarn from the flower that you have to weave in this just makes it easier so that you don't have to weave in any other ends at the very end so that you can hide everything as you work so you should have something that looks like this all the way until you get to your next LED light once you get to your next LED light just go ahead and put the next flower in go ahead and keep single crocheting while holding on to the other end of your flower keep single crocheting all the way until you get to the battery end and then just cut and tie off okay so here is the end of it and like i said i just cut and tied off and then sewed in the end but here is the lights turned on and i really love how they came out because the little beads they kind of look like little dew drops and the bulbs themselves are i don't know it's just adding to it but these are super super cute i only needed one of these um yarn cakes and i still have some leftover yarn that i cut in between to like change color in between the wiring coverings and like i said this was only 80 grams of yarn so just so you guys can more or less see how much yarn you're gonna need that's how much i ended up using and here it is the led lights um this is the box i can't really see where the length of the actual thing is okay so anyways you guys get it here she is she is super super cute i absolutely love this diy why or this like crochet i'm going to go ahead and hang it up by my computer again but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little crochet pattern yeah let me know if you guys tried it out yourselves what else you guys would like me to go ahead and crochet for you guys thank you so much for watching and using my tutorial and pattern and i will see you guys in my next video bye